This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. Chad Daybell has been found guilty on every single count. Tammy Daybell, JJ, Tylee, insurance fraud, everything. They didn't buy any of the stories, any of the excuses that were being thrown out there by John Pryor. Joining me to discuss, Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author. We've obviously been covering this case for quite some time. Here we are, judgment day for Chad Daybell. Guilty sentencing coming up. What's your reaction? I was thrilled. I was thrilled. It needed to happen. I'm glad it's done. It was, you know, traumatic from the time we were all looking for those children and wondering what happened to them. And and then the bizarre, you know, playing out of Lori's trial and all the weird stuff. It's like it's done. And and other than the sentencing, it's done. And the right thing. I think it was the right thing. I'm pleased. <laughs> I, uh, I agree. Obviously, there's another Lori trial coming up here in August, I believe, is the start date on that. Uh, that will be interesting to see exactly what happens. Uh, that's, uh, I believe, for uh, Charles Vallow's death and the attempted uh, shooting of Brandon Boudreau. We'll probably see new witnesses and, and new pieces of evidence coming up there. But with Chad, we saw a lot. We saw everything from his kids coming to the stand to an attorney that was very much in over his head, <laughs> uh, John Pryor, who... Uh, you know, he did his job. He did as best as he could without having a whole lot to work with. I did find it interesting at the very end. He made a point that I thought no one else had ever made. And and I do wonder if there's any sort of validity to it. And it just popped into his head at the last moment. Let's take a look at part of his closing arguments. Alex Cox murdered Tylee Ryan. Lori Vallow knew what was going on because her beloved little brother, her beloved big brother, could be tagged for the murder of Charles Vallow. And those two, there's that part. The next there's this part. victim, the next victim, husband number five, number five, just get insurance. Don't worry about saying there's any kids or any beneficiaries or anything like that. Honey, just say it's me and you. And while all of this is going on, all of this is happening. Chad's really good friend, Alex Cox, really close friend, is Googling how to put a bullet through the windshield in the side of a black Dodge Dakota that Chad Daybell primarily drives. The target was not Tammy Daybell. It was not Tammy Daybell. You heard testimony about the insurance. The target was not Tammy Daybell. And he's pointing there at, uh, at Chad Daybell, if you're listening mm -hmm. to the audio of this. Um, I don't know. I mean, seeing Lori's track record of going after... Um, her husbands, it's not that crazy, but they weren't married yet. And I don't know that there was even a life insurance policy on Chad at the time. I could be wrong. There might be. Um, but I, I, it doesn't make me doubt that possibly down the road, Chad would have actually been done in as well. Would they all have tried to do in each other, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, you had this incredible synergy of these really, uh, you know, ruthless people under this religious guise um, who would go to any lengths to get what they wanted. And so might Chad have eventually turned on Lori, maybe, you know? newer, better wife comes along at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, might Lori have eventually turned on Chad? More insurance money? Sure, any of that conjecture is possible. But I don't think that there was any doubt in this trial that Chad was really uh, uh, an incredibly important part of the strings that were being pulled that resulted in the deaths. Yeah, w without a doubt. Um, let me ask you this. We're going into sentencing now. Um, they, you know, it didn't take them that long to reach this verdict. Um, it actually, I, I didn't win the pool, the office pool that we have of like how many hours I said two hours. I'm like, this is going to be quick. I think at the end of the day, what was it like eight hours or so? It was somewhere around there. Uh, Cause it got into mid afternoon of the, the, uh, the second day. Um, so, but again, not all that long to come to the, uh, the, you know, 
decision on, on three separate murders and insurance fraud. Uh, with a decision that comes that quick, do you think the jury is going to be that quick with their decision on whether or not he should be put to death or life in prison? My, my guess is that's going to be even quicker because they have obviously been thinking about that. There's mm -hmm. no way they couldn't have been pondering which way they're leaning. And um, yeah, I think it'll it'll be quick as well. Is that a difficult decision to make for a juror? With, with, I mean, I suppose it's a very personal thing, obviously, but um, I wonder how, how tough that is to make on, on someone I mean, like Chad Daybell. I think for many of us who tend to be analytical thinkers and put lots of energy into moral issues and, my gosh, the pros and cons, I think it would be difficult for many people, but probably not for the majority of people. I think if you go out and do a, a general survey, um, people are either pretty clear up front, no, I completely oppose the death penalty, or yeah, I'm in favor of the death penalty. You know, people tend to be kind of black and white on that issue. So mm -hmm. my guess is it will be a, a pretty quick decision for these people. Yeah, it will be uh, an interesting one to watch. By the time this drops, the decision may have already uh, been made, but it's been very fascinating to uh, to see the defense uh, of uh, Chad Daybell, uh, I mean, the the lack thereof, really. I mean, but again, what are you going to defend him with? The the few witnesses that he had failed miserably on the stand. Uh, in uh, I feel bad for the kids. Uh, in no way yes. do I feel bad. Like, oh, I hope they keep Chad around because you're a dad. I, like, the further they can get away from that man, and if he can get off the earth, uh, yeah. I think is even better for them because those are some kids that need some serious mental health help. That's my conjecture after seeing them on the stand. Yeah, it's it's really um, a, a big concern. And I'm just so glad that, you know, they were caught because this could have gone on longer. And in a way, I look at them as a, a form of visionary serial killers. You know, they had no problem killing one after another after another, anybody who was getting in the way of their vision. And yeah. they were on this mission from God and there would have been more people killed. Yeah. And you got to hope that uh, the vision stops with Chad and Lori. Uh, but that, that's a good question. That's something I've heard brought up before uh, of saying that this is not necessarily as isolated as we think uh, mm -hmm. with, with spinoffs of, of the Mormon uh, faith and the Mormon faith. They want nothing to do with Chad and Lori. They say they're, they weren't us. They weren't. But again, it's a dropping off point at some point where they left that faith and, and kind of created their own. Do you think these are these are isolated people, uh, you know, or are there a lot more little mini cults going on out there similar to, to Chad and Lori? Maybe not murdering everybody yet. We, we certainly have evidence that when it comes to, you know, the child marriage and sexual abuse of young girls, that there's a lot of that going on, and it is spinoff of the Mormon faith. And so, yeah, I have concerns about how much flies under the radar. Yeah, it's going to be scary to see um, what we continue to uncover in, in, in other worlds. Uh, I, I, I don't think we're near the end of, of this type of no. fly off of that faith. All right, one uh, another one down. Lori's up next. All right, <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> Sick of the ads? We opt to. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.